All right, my dear students, Assalamu Alaikum. Here is we have a session for revising concepts and formulas of trigonometry. Let's have a quick look at all the formulas, concepts present in trigonometry in both in right angle triangles and non right angle triangles as well. So, first of all, when we start from right angle triangle, the first one is Pythagoras theorem. So what is Pythagoras theorem? This is basically a relation between three sides of a right angle triangle. And conditionally, we are supposed to, when describe this one, this is hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of the other two legs. But this happens only in right angle triangle, my dear students. So if a triangle has right angle, then this relation can be satisfied. That means that the hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the two legs. It's only possible if there's one right angle in any triangle. We say this is Pythagoras theorem. And whenever we need to find one side, when the two other sides are given, then we can take help from Pythagoras theorem. It helps us to find one side when the other two sides are given. When if you look at trigonometric ratios, that is sine cosine and tangent are called trigonometric ratios they are providing us the ratio between these three sides of right angle triangle and relate them with the angles here i have mentioned angle a so according to this angle a this side is opposite this side is adjacent and this side is hypotenuse now according to this angle if we want to write what are the ratios actually defined by sine of a, then cosine of a, then tangent of a, so here is opposite over hypotenuse, and here opposite is a sign right in front of this angle which is we are using in trigonometric ratios, that is opposite, and hypotenuse, the longest side of the right angle triangle. And then cosine of a, this is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and the, here adjacent is this side AC labeled by small b and hypotenuse again the longest side and then tangent of A this is equal to opposite over hypotenuse here is opposite I have explained here and this is adjacent this ratio is equal to tangent ratio these ratios are help us when we have angles and sides are to be fine when some sides and angles are given if some one side is given and one angle is given, we can find side. If two sides are given, we can find any angle in right angle triangle. So the function of trigonometric ratio is to solve any right angle triangle. To solve any right angle triangle means the finding the values of unknown sides and angles which are not given on the triangle with the help of given sides and angles. And now, the next one concept in right angle triangle, my dear student, is angle of elevation and depression. One of the important having most of the time word problems. Now, if you look at here, this is line of sight is in the beginning and considered to be the horizontal line. This dotted line is considered to be the horizontal line at any level. And then, any line that is going above this, this horizontal line, that is called this will define angle of elevation. This is elevating and this is defining angle of elevation. And from the level of horizontal, if we are looking downward, downward, then this downward line which is below the horizontal level, this is making angle with the horizontal. This is called angle of depression. This is called angle of depression. If you look at here in the form of, for example, we got information and we draw a triangle or figure which is in the form of this. If there is any angle depression given and we are supposed to label it to carry on our question, here is the situation. And de depression would be here at this level. And here is horizontal and this is coming down. From here in this figure, we can see downward. This is horizontal level and lower depression line should be below this one. And in this figure, there's only possibility here, the line of sight is this, and we are supposed to look below this one to use a depression angle. And here is angle of elevation. If in this figure it could be possible or given or uh, need to be asked 
or the, there is a question that find angle of elevation this is elevation because this from this level the line is above this horizontal level that's why this is angle of elevation and now we will move in an area my dear students when the triangles are not right angle these methods are related to the right angle triangles when we are supposed to deal angle and size and here we have no right angle triangle and there are some concepts related to now no right angle triangle how to solve them or how to find questions related to in a form where such kind of triangles involved so first of all is area of area of triangle this area is equal to my dear students 1 by 2 into a into b into sine of angle c my dear students if we want to find area the description of this concept is the area is equal to half into product of two sides of the triangle into sine of their including angle in dono sides ke darmiyan jo angle aa raha hai if you look at here between a and b we have angle c here this c is capital c it's not small c this is capital c like a b and c so if we are using these two sides angle would be this if we use these two sides angle would be b if we use these two sides a b and c angle would be angle a so this is with the help of given alphabets marked on angles and sides but in general description of area of triangle when the right angle is not given is the area would be equal to half into product of two sides into sine of angle between them dono ke darmiyan jo angle hoga uska sign lenge this formula gives the area of triangle when height will not be given and next one is my dear student next one is sine rule this sine rule has the shape its a relation between these sides represented by small alphabets and the angle represented by capital english alphabets this formula is providing us a relation between them and this relation is represented as a over this is sine of capital a and this is equal to b over sin of capital b and this is equal to c over sin of capital c i'm using small alphabets as the numerator and as an angle the capital english alphabets this relation provide us sin rule which we will use for solving triangle with the help of given values we can find the values of unknown that by the angles might be sides and its the second form is it may you may use like this this is sin of a at the numerator and side might be in the denominator this is sin of b divided by small b and this is equal to sin of c over small c these two are 100% correct you can may use this one you may use this one normally students carry this formula or book writers are suggesting this more but they are 100% same you can use any one of these two this is sin rule connecting sides and angles of no right angle triangle and the next one is that is cosine rule this is cosine rule my dear students well again when there are some cases when we are free to get help from sign sign will not support us to find some angles and sides in that case we will use cosine rule and this relation is a square equals this is b square plus c square minus 2 b c and this is equal to no into sorry this is into cosine of the angle a angle which is related to this side so cosine rule is a square this is a side i'm taking 
plus b square minus 2bc into cosine of capital angle A. I have focused on this side. It looks that as I am going to find the value of small a. We will use this formula. Well, if you want to start your formula from B alphabet, you need to find this side. You can start your formula from B as well. And similarly, if you want to find side C, then you can write this formula and start from C as well. As here is, this is B square equals, this is A square. Uh -huh. This is A square plus C square minus 2 a c and into cosine of angle b similarly if under focus side or we are going to find side c so we can start this formula from c as well this is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 minus 2 a b into cosine of angle a now, this is sorry, it's an angle C. Yes, it must be C because we have considered it's a side. So, these are three formulas, my dear students, that will help us to find sides or angles when we are failed that sine rule is not helping us to find some angles or sides. We will use cosine rule. It's in the same way as I was telling you, we can find angles sometime if that is required. Sine rule will help us, yes. And here again, size and angle, both we can uh, find with the help of cosine rule. And the next one, next concept is, it's a bearing. Now the question is, first of all, what is bearing? Bearing heck yeah. So, as earlier said, the bearing is an angle measured from north in clockwise direction like if we look at here let's check it out we have coordinate axis this is north this is origin here if we talk about this bearing so a bearing as I tell this that this is a measurement of an angle from north direction this is north direction my dear students and every angle that is measured from north but in clockwise direction that is called bearing and this bearing is all the time written in three digits if the bearing number is up to one digit or two digits if this is automatically three number three digits it's okay fine well like if there is a point here for example this point is a we say what is the bearing of a from o it's mean we are supposed to find this angle. The angle made by this line AO with the normal. If the north is already there in the figure or a point where we are supposed to find bearing, so we will direct draw mention the angle then calculate it. But if, if we see that there is no angle, no north mention, for example, this is in case of when we are supposed to find bearing from A to Oh, if we are supposed to find bearing of A, bearing of A from O, my dear students, then this is the situation. We draw, we move to the this point O, and check whether not bearing, as this is A from O mean, you have north at point O. Then we will directly draw this angle. Mention this angle. This is we need to find. But there is a possibility, like there is a question, find bearing from O to A. Bearing, my dear students, a bearing is an angle that measured from north. From north. This is north here. It's an angle measured from north in clockwise direction all the time. It will never be in anti-clockwise. In clockwise direction, and it is always written in three digits. That's called bearing. And this is what the bearing is. It's a bearing of O from O is actually the angle that is measured from north. Bearing of A from 
O. Bearing of A from O mean my dear students that there is a line coming from A towards O making angle with the north at point O. We will check if the north is already there like this. So we will draw this angle. This angle actually we need to find. That will be called bearing of A from O. And but it may happen, but there is question that we have to find bearing of O from A. The situation is we need to have north after the from word, whatever the alphabet is. But here, if you look at my dear, there is no north at point A. So there are only two situations. When you have the question, find the bearing of from this point, this point, from this point, the point after that from might have north. If the north is present, just mark the angle that we need to find. But if north is not there, like for this statement, as I'm telling you, bearing of O from A we are supposed to find. If we got this kind of situation, what we do? We are we are supposed to have north at A. We will draw north here, here. Then this north will help us to find the bearing of O from A. We will give the format of full coordinate axis, and then the Simpson and given given values will help us to find this bearing. And we will first of all draw this angle. This angle actually is the bearing of O from A. This is measured from north up to here. This quadrant is 90. This quadrant is 90. And this angle, 180 is to total up to now. This actually we need to find part. And when we add up these three, we will get the bearing of O from A, my dear students. It's mean if the north is already there, the bearing that we are supposed to find, we will just mark the angle and calculate it, find it. But if the north is not there, we will draw north first and then mark angle and then we find the value of bearing of that question. This is about bearing my dear students. These are the concepts my dear students present in your topic trigonometry. But the ultimate application of this whole topic is the three dimensional use of the, of the, all these concepts. All these concepts are related to two-dimensional geometry, my dear students, where we have different figures, we are supposed to deal with sides and angles and areas. But if we are supposed to deal three-dimensional figures and need to find in the same way sides and angles, then only these methods will help us to solve three-dimensional figures. In any shape, if we got three-dimensional figure, we need to just learn and develop our skill that the respective side which we are supposed to find in which particular triangle this is actually the part we will pick that triangle deal in a way and see it if this is right angle we'll use all these concepts any one of these two that will help us to find side or angle but if we see that in three dimensional figure the right the triangle is not a right angle triangle then there will be triangle like this so then we will use these, any one of these concepts and techniques and formula that will help us to find side and angle. We will just focus on only that particular uh, triangle in which our side or angle which actually which we want to find is actually present. So this is a summary of this topic my dear student in your course that give you a short review of all these concepts, formulas when, when, whenever you want to revise it, just pick all these concepts first and then jump into your total topic. And we have one more topic, my dear student, that's about the relation between acute and obtuse angles. The concept of acute angle and obtuse angle. The relation between acute and obtuse angle, my dear students, is actually the relation only between sine and cosine. 
and let's have these values here and I would like to write the formulas and techniques that will help help us so the relation acute and obtuse angle only present is sine and cosine for sine we have its results sine of whenever we got sine of 180 minus a this can be written sine of a if the reverse is exist if we got sine of a that will be all the time equal to sine of 180 minus a my dear students both are equal all the time this is a relation connecting acute and obtuse angles if you have obtuse angle in the beginning and the question is convert the obtuse angle into acute angle then find the value of cosine cosine or sine we will put that angle here and if this is obtuse this relation this relation gave us acute angle and that we will directly find with the help of calculator similarly the cosine of a will be equal to minus cosine of 180 minus a if we got any angle cosine we can write with the negative sign in the form of this format that will help us to convert our angle into acute angle and then we will carry on with the calculation by calculator so these are the, are the all concepts my dear students to revise your topic trigonometry or prepare your topic trigonometry first of all learn all these perfectly then went into the questions handle them for sides and angles and if you learn really very nicely if you have very good command excellent command on these concepts and formulas then I assure you you will be comfortable while handling triangles for finding angles and sides.